This thesis and dissertation services word training is going to focus on using the ruler at the top of the page and the sliders within it to control block quotes as, as well as hanging indents in your references and other places where you might need to shift where the margin sits on your document. So first we're going to take a look at the references. This is something that almost everybody has to deal with and most people will type the references by pressing a hard return at the end of the line and then a tab key at the start of the next line to get the hanging indent that APA and so many other styles require. This ends up giving you a lot of um, squiggly underlines and tells you that there are some errors that aren't necessarily there. I've got the top two references um, formatted by pressing return and then the tab key at the start of the next line. And I've got the bottom two references, if I click in it, formatted using the hanging indent tool that's built into the ruler. And if you, for some reason you aren't able to see your ruler, you can go to the View tab and turn the ruler off and on. I highly recommend using the ruler when you're working with page formatting. With both of these sets of references formatted, I'm going to show what happens when you copy from a working document that may be using one inch margins and paste your work into a template which has the proper one and a half inch margins. So I'm going to go to page layout, margins, custom margins, and change left to 1.5. Whereas the second set of references that were set using the slider in the ruler up here have stayed pretty much the way they need to look. The top set has become a little odd. So if I delete and press tab and then get angry at Microsoft Word because it takes both lines and moves it, you can sit and work and try to get everything correct by pressing the tab key and hitting return, or you can just remove all of your extra keystrokes, click in your reference, and then hover over the bottom half of the sliders here until you see hanging indent appear. If you click and slide this over, again you can slide it wherever you want. If you only want like a quarter inch indent that's fine. You can do that. You can also apply it to all of your references in your document and take care of them all at one time. It's a lot easier and it saves having to go back and delete all those extra keystrokes and put them back in where they need to be moved. I'm going to change my margins back because I want to show you how easy it is to keep those in line now that they've all been set using the slider. Next I'm going to talk a little bit about block quotes. Now I've got the text up here, which is an exact copy of the text that appears here. Um, again, I have formatted this block quote by pressing the tab key. If I highlight, you can see where the tab key strikes are. And I formatted this block quote using the slider. So again, what happens when we change over to the left margin? Everything here stays exactly where you want it to be, and the stuff at the top has this sort of stair step of tabs that you have to format, reformat, take out, put back in. This is taken care of if we press delete and get rid of all these tabs, and I'll turn on the invisible markers here so I can see what I'm working with. If we get rid of these to apply this style that's down here, this time we want to grab and hover over the little box at the bottom where it says left indent. If we click this one and slide it over, you'll notice it moves the whole set of sliders. And that moves everything in. Now if I wanted to get this block quote formatted for MLA as opposed to APA, I'll wait and I will slide it over an extra half inch. So the slider is comprised of three parts the top 
upside down triangle is the first line indent, which is what gives you that tabbed indent on a paragraph. And Word will usually set this automatically if it sees that you're hitting the tab key at the beginning of every paragraph. That's one you don't need to worry about very often. The bottom arrow is the hanging indent, and it moves everything but the first line. And then the very bottom square is a left indent, and that moves all of the text at once.